And the defendant, Michael Keatley, comes over to the Lucas home posing as a law enforcement officer with a loaded 45 caliber gun. The witnesses have described that he is wearing a black shirt with the word sheriff in white on his chest and that he has a firearm and that he's demanding that he is looking for somebody named Creeper. Where's Creeper? Who's Creeper? He's demanding that they show him their identification, but he doesn't wait to see who they are. He doesn't wait to identify them. He immediately, intentionally, and systematically starts shooting them. Juan and Sergio Guitron, brothers, both of them died that night. It will be uncontradicted that back in January 23rd of 2010, 11 months before these horrific crimes, the defendant tragically was a victim himself. He was robbed and shot at gunpoint. That the motive for this case simply is revenge, retaliation. He wanted to shoot the people who shot him. And he became obsessed with finding the individuals who did this. He asked me if I knew who the Cripper was. And did you know who the Cripper was? No, I don't. Uh, on, uh, on later conversations, did he bring uh, Creeper back up again? Mm, you keep asking that if I knew who, or anybody who I could ask that could know who the Creeper was. Did you have a nickname back in 2010? Yeah. What was your nickname? Creep. You never heard about a guy by the name of Creeper? No, never. Okay. So you never asked anybody about a guy by the name of Creeper? No. Like I said, those people, you know what, I'll shake that guy's hand that did that. Because to me, that's a hero, the one over there. Now, whether they were involved or not, you know what, most of them are freaking gangbangers over there on the street anyway. He tried to kill four other victims in this case. All of them that night were in fear for their lives because this man wanted vengeance. We waited to see what he was going to say. He asked, um, who's Creeper? And we're like, uh, none of us. And like, where's Creeper? We're like, uh, he ain't here. I just seen him coming at us, and then when I turned around, it felt like I got shot as soon as I turned around. Uh, we were all in the line like that, so he started shooting from this way, that way, to, um, to the right, to the left. He shot at me, but it missed me. It went over my back, and it went through the window of the trailer. I crawled around Gonzalo and, and Jose Rodriguez because I wanted to get to the railing and get off of there and, and leave from the spot. And as I went around, Gonzalo and, and Jose Rodriguez through the front, he went through the back of them and went and got right in front of me. I look up at him and he looked at me and, and he, he pumped it again and, and he shot me in my chest. My legs and my arm. Do you know what caused those? Yes. What? 45. I mean, um... Were you shot in the head? Yeah. And when Detective Lugo shows this victim the photo pack, Gonzalo Guerra the photo pack, he will tell you when he gets to the defendant's photo that he immediately identifies him. At some point while he's showing you the photographs, did you recognize the face of anyone in the photographs? Yes, sir. And whose face did you recognize? The guy that shot me. What did you do when you saw that photograph? I started to cry. Because of what? <coughs> Anger, it's because of Sergio and Juan. You will hear about the ballistic evidence, the firearm evidence in this case, the forensic evidence in this case, the projectiles and the shell casings that are left at that scene that were collected by law enforcement. Some of the projectiles were fired from the same firearm from the casings and projectiles that were fired from the scene. 
and we were able to arrive at an opinion or conclusion as to whether or not that spent shell casing found at the uh, pasture of the Keeley residence was fired from a the same weapon as the tin casings from the crime scene or a different weapon than the that fired the tin casings at the crime scene? Yes, I was. What was your opinion in that regard? It was fired in the same firearm as the other tin. He searched for the term creeper 185 times. Ocean mist. He searched for that term 92 times. For ocean mist, for example, that was one of the terms that you were asked to search? It was. And how many hits did you get? That particular phrase, I got 92 hits. Law enforcement found a composition book in his house. You'll hear that the detectives went through that composition book, and on one of those pages was written Bayon, B-A-I-L-O-N, Omar's last name, the person who has a nickname Creeper, and an address, 507 Ocean Mist. The uh, fingerprint at the upper portion of that photograph, uh, I was able to identify as being made by the left thumbprint of Mr. Keatley. All of the evidence in this case proves that it is the defendant, Michael Keatley, who was responsible for the killing of Sergio and Juan Gatron. We are confident that, you have, that after you have heard all the evidence in this case, you will find him guilty for the first degree attempted murder of both Jose and Juan Gatron and for the attempted murder of the four other victims in this case.